Somebody loves me. To the outside, the main track draws in. They're at the post. And they are racing. Blame the Champagne went to her nose leaving the starting gate, and it was a fast start from the inside for Ghost Bayou. Also flashing speed from between horses as they head up the backside, Mahomebred. And right in the thick of things, too, is time for Cupid as they head into the far turn. And it's Icy River now emerges with the lead. Icy River shows the way a length to Mahomebred to the inside. Second, third is time for Cupid. A couple lengths for the back. Ghost Bayou settles along in fourth. Ratcheting up the pressure. Here comes 2020 hoaxes on the move. A couple lengths for the back to Somebody Loves Me as they race around the turn. Really strong outfield here. Probably 25 lengths top to bottom with a quarter to go. And the first quarter was 22 seconds flat. Icy River will whip them in. Icy River off the turn in front by a length. Up into second comes time for Cupid. Down the center of the track, 2020 hoax even further out. Somebody loves me. He's on the move, but on the move. Pretty late in this game here with a 16th to go. Icy River shaking up. Here comes Blame the Champagne running a huge one to the outside. Blame the Champagne up in time. Blame the Champagne gets up to win over Icy River in that photo in 104 flat. An icy river, third number two time for Cupid, finishing fourth of 13. Somebody loves me, 5 11 2 13. In the winner's circle, number five, Blame the Champagne, a three-year-old daughter by Candy Ride. Out of the forest, Wildcat Mayor named Quippery. The winner's own six column stables in partnership with Randall Block, Jim Gladden, and Riverview Racing. The winner trainer is Ian Wilkes and Corey Lannery. The winning jockey, Blame the Champagne, up in time in 104 flat. 